Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I've got the Technifiber T5 305. So make sure you guys smash that like button, especially if you're a Daniil Medvedev fan, because this racket right here is endorsed by the number two player in the world, Daniil Medvedev. I'm also gonna have a ton of other racket reviews coming this summer, as well as some other fun and quirky tennis videos. So make sure besides just hitting that like button, you guys also smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of those future videos that are coming this summer. I was super excited to try this one out and see if I could maybe play a little bit like Medvedev with this racket in my hands. We're not going to waste any time with this one. We're going to jump right on court and I'll give you guys my first impressions of the Technifiber T Fight 305. Let's go. All right, guys, jumping on court here to test out this Technifiber T Fight 305. Now, before we begin here, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the specs. And one thing that I actually found out through researching this racket is that there's actually two versions of the Technifiber 305. There's the RS version, which I'm using right here on court. There's also a TF40. Now, Daniil Medvedev, he endorses this one here, the RS 305. And the only difference is there's a slight change in balance where this one here is a little bit more head heavy compared to the other one. There's also a difference in the string pattern. The TF40, which is the other version, has an 18 by 20 string pattern. And this one that I'm using right here has a little bit more unusual string pattern of an 18 by 19, which is supposed to give it a little bit more spin and control according to what Technifiber has said about the racket. Going into some other important specs here for the racket, the head size is 98 square inches, something that I'm pretty familiar with here on the channel with the other rackets that I've reviewed. I've reviewed a lot of 98 square inch. So it's right in that kind of sweet spot where you still get a decent amount of power and control. Length, 27 inches, standard. The strung weight of this racket is 323 grams, and the unstrung weight is 305 grams, hence the T-Fight 305 name, right? Makes sense. 305 grams, T-Fight 305. The strung balance here, this is where this racket differs a little bit from a lot of the rackets that I've reviewed so far. This one's a three points headlight balance. So that means that there's a lot of weight actually carrying through the top of the racket. So this one swings a little bit slower, but what you do get is a lot of plow through. Because of that high swing weight, it does feel like it's heavier, and that's something that I definitely noticed right away on the court. So I actually reviewed this one back to back with the Head Extreme Tour. Make sure you guys check out that review if you haven't already came out last week. The Head Extreme Tour is actually slightly heavier than this racket, but on court, going back to back with these rackets, this one felt way heavier, even though Technically, on paper, it's a lighter racket. That all comes down to the balance. Now, that did play a positive role when it comes to the plow through. This thing had a ton of pop. As long as you can get that head heavy weight moving through the ball, the ball travels through the court really quickly, has a lot of power and pace as it comes through. That's definitely tough for opponents to deal with, and that's what I noticed is a very positive aspect of this racket. Now, that comes at a price, though, which is the maneuverability of the racket. Because that weight is coming through the top of the racket, it does take a little bit longer to swing, and the swing speed is not as fast as maybe I'm used to with some of the other rackets that I've reviewed here on the channel. And definitely the, maneuver, the maneuverability suffered a little bit because I am comparing this to the racket that I use the most, which is the Yonex V-Core 95, and that racket's very maneuverable, so going from that very headlight balance to this more head-heavy one was a little bit more challenging. All right, guys, so getting off the court here with Andrew, we were hitting with the Extreme Tour and the Technifiber 305. So if you guys watched my other video, uh, we reviewed the Extreme Tour. This is gonna be the quick little summary of the Technifiber 305. I found this racket pretty tough to use. I don't know if you had the same experience, but um, I preferred the Extreme Tour. The Technifiber felt really heavy. I think it has something to do with the way the Technifiber distributed the weight in the racket. A lot of it is up in the top of the racket. It's really nice if you can get an early swing and take that ball out in front and swing through. The weight comes through nice, but it's really hard to do. Your timing has to be really, really good in order to get that going. But one thing that I gotta say for it that I really liked is that it's an absolute beast racket for defense. So if you're kind of caught in the back, all that weight, you can just kind of block whatever shot and really nice for returning serves, especially a big one. Just put the racket head on it and it's easy to direct. Yeah. what you think? Similar to what Mike said, it's, uh, it's really good for defense because it's really sturdy. Um, I found you couldn't take too big of a backswing because, again, it's kind of hard to control. Um, and sometimes my game, it's uh, I'm 
I have a tendency to take a, a huge backswing, so that's I was mistiming the ball, mishitting it. So for this one, you got to catch up in front, and it's but it's really sturdy for hard shots. You can really get it back. So yeah, and the spin, yeah. I found that like uh, going for those slices, it was really good mm -hmm. too. I don't know if you took many slices when you were playing not, with it. Not but too many, but definitely a game similar to, to Medvedev. Yeah, sure. yeah, flat hitting, yeah. hitting through the court, it works well. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that's a Technofiber 305. All right, guys, I hope that you really enjoyed that hitting session. This racket looks really nice on court. I felt great hitting with it. It's got a lot of nice weight through the swing, as you guys heard through my first impressions there. But I know what you guys are waiting for. You're waiting for the mic score. So let's jump into it. I'll give you guys the mic score of the T-Fight 305. So taking a look at the mic score of the Technofiber T-Fight 305, you guys can see we're going through our usual categories here of styling, power, control, maneuverability, feel, and cool factor. So starting off with the styling, I think this racket is styled really nice. I like the minimal kind of styling of this racket while still showing that French heritage of Technofiber with that blue, white, and red color scheme like the French flag. Another thing I really like about this styling is that it's got a lot of really nice details throughout the frame of the racket. And pretty much every angle that you look at the racket, there's something interesting that catches your eye but yet it's not overly done. So for the styling, I think it's been really nice and tastefully done. So for this styling of this racket, the 305, I'm giving it an eight out of 10. For power, like I was saying in my initial thoughts, as long as you can swing this racket out, swing it freely, catch that ball out in front, the power is absolutely amazing. Because this racket carries so much weight through the top of the racket, you get a ton of plow through the ball. Um, the only reason I didn't score this racket a little bit higher on the power is because in those situations where the ball gets a little bit too close to you, the power dies out. It's kind of like the RF autograph in that sense where your timing has to be really good in order to access that power that it has. And it's also similar to the VCore Pro 330 that I've tried um, where you really gotta get your timing right. But once you can, if you can unlock the power of this racket, it's got a ton of power potential. It's just up to the player to use it and also it doesn't exactly make that super easy because it's not the most maneuverable racket. It's not very user friendly. And because the power is not as easy to access, I can't give it that 10 out of 10 score like we gave to the Head Extreme Tour, but this one is really good in power and has a ton of power potential. So it's getting a great score of eight in power. Now the control of this racket, I found that I had great control with this racket from all areas of the court. Like I said, if you tap into the power, it does have a lot of power, so I found that sometimes it got a little bit squirrely on me. I overhit a little bit on certain shots where I didn't think I was going to, but um, overall, really nice control with this racket. It's got that little bit of a strange string pattern being an 18 by 19 string pattern, so it is a little bit more dense, which adds to the control and uh, definitely helps out. So for the control of this racket, I'm giving it an eight out of 10. Next is the maneuverability, and the maneuverability is really the Achilles heel of this Technofiber T-Fight. Because that balance is up in the top of the racket, which gives it a really nice plow through when you're swinging, unfortunately, it takes away from the maneuverability. It makes it feel much heavier than it is, and I found that that actually took a lot of a toll on my arm. Normally, I don't have much issues swinging rackets, even the heavier ones, but this one, I did feel like I was getting tired, felt sluggish out there. Might have been the super hot and humid day that was a factor in that, but that head heaviness of this racket really impacted the maneuverability and it just wasn't uh, what I like and what I'm used to, especially from my V-Core 95, which is one of the most maneuverable rackets out there. So going from that V-Core 95 and then to this one, I really felt the difference and I felt that it suffered a lot with the maneuverability. That's why I gave it a six out of 10 in maneuverability. Next up is the feel for the racket. So this one here, really good feel, very responsive, lets you know what's happening on the string bed. I really liked it from that point. So I'm giving it there an eight out of 10. In the cool factor, again, a racket used by Danilo Medvedev, but you don't really see many other pros using it. I think that it's pretty cool though that you know the number two player in the world does endorse this racket, and the racket that he uses is actually very close to this one as well, where many pros use a completely different racket. Medvedev's racket does feel very similar to this one, so that I think is pretty cool, adds to the cool factor, so I'm giving it an eight out of 10. Definitely a little bit of an unusual racket, one that you're not gonna see as often at most clubs. Overall, you guys can see that the mic score here tells a story. This is a really well-rounded racket. It really only has one small issue with the maneuverability, but if you can get over that, if you can do really well with your footwork, move this racket a little earlier than maybe you're used to with others, 
then you're gonna absolutely love this racket. It is very good from all other aspects. Like I said, the only small hitch is that maneuverability. All right, guys, so that was the mic score of the Technifiber T-Fight 305. Really interesting racket, really fun play test. I really enjoyed hitting with this one, and I wouldn't mind hitting with it again. It's definitely something different from my racket, very different from the V-Core 95. So it was something uh, enjoyable, fun, different, and uh, one that you guys should definitely try out. A couple rackets I would compare this one to, if you're out there shopping for the V-Core Pro, especially in the uh, heavier versions, the 330 gram, or even if you're potentially shopping for the Pro Staff line of rackets, I would definitely give this one a shot. I think that you guys would definitely enjoy this one. It's a player's racket for sure. Um, definitely a more intermediate to advanced uh, style racket. Give this one a shot as well, put it in the mix. I think that you guys would be pleasantly surprised with what this one can deliver, especially if you're somebody who has a really smooth swing and great footwork. This racket is gonna complement your game extremely well. Definitely give this one a shot if that's you. All right guys, with all that being said, please make sure you guys subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button, you guys. It helps me so much when you guys smash that like button, boost these videos, get them out there so that more people get to see them and see these reviews. And of course, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. I've got tons of reviews coming your way, so make sure you guys don't miss them this summer. And if you guys are shopping for the Technifiber T-Fight or any other racket and you're looking to get a great deal, make sure you guys check out my link in the description to the racket guys. They have a ton of great deals on rackets. And of course, when you guys shop with them, it helps my channel out a lot. So use that link in the description. And if you're looking to better your tennis game, make sure you guys also check out my link to Top Court in the description of the video. You guys get a two week free trial when you use my link. So it's a win-win. You guys get to check it out for free. Really nothing to risk, nothing to lose. Check it out. It's an awesome platform for learning tennis. And with all that being said, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace out and keep swinging.